It's been 3,000 years. <laughs> that was only a sapphire, what the heck? Okay, no, 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 I'm, I'm saving. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> Oi, ay, ay. Well, you don't overwrite your old files? Nah, nah. I, I, only, I only start doing that if I, like, run out of files. Weathering Heights. I'm not sure what this is. It's probably another factory level. Or laboratory. I don't get the feeling the cop is going to be used. Hmm. Yeah, that was really not a long load time. Okay, if it's just a regular platforming level, I'm down. Because I'm tired of the vehicles right now. So, you want platforming in your platformer game? Pretty much. I think, uh, like, it's not just the fact that uh, Crash 4 goes even more overboard than Crash 3. That was amazing, by the way. <laughs> um... Uh, it's not even just that. It's also the fact that the vehicles in this game just aren't fun to play. Like, with the with the exception of, like, the the, um, the monkey ball thing. Uh, and the, the, the copter is fine enough. Uh, but a lot of them just are basically versions of vehicles from other games uh, that are just way less fun to play. Uh, and... I don't know, man. They just. It feel, a lot of them just feel like a chore, and I'd just rather not play them. So, if you're gonna have vehicles, at least make them enjoyable in their own right. It's why I. I'm usually okay with multiple playstyles in Sonic games, because they usually at least make them. make them fun to play on their own merits. Even if uh, they're not always for everyone, they're not always everyone's cup of tea, but that's another issue. Oh man. I don't know if I've ever like asked you about like about this, but uh, what's your like general like opinion towards like Marvel gameplay styles in a game? Depends on how it, it, it's it's a it's a case by case basis. Yeah. Depends on who what like depends on how prevalent they are and what you're doing. Yeah, that's basically how I how I stand more or less. I notice this seems to be a like a prevalent, <laughs> like a prevalent <laughs> thing in 3D platformers specifically. They seem to. Hmm. Seems more likely to kind of throw multiple playstyles at you. Yeah. Oh, this is a mess. I like that thing in the background, uh, the foreground. That's just blocking my view. All right, sneaking Oops. time. I, I forgot what burn it was again. Oopsie. I just get this. Oh, okay. Sure, why not? <laughs> Crash his face. Yeah. Is it me or is the spin animation a lot shorter than in the other games? I suffered. The Mandela effect of this game a lot, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> it feel it feels like it goes it it's much it just goes by much sure. I, sh I shouldn't have done that. I tried to speed run it. <laughs> no, I'm gonna back going back here now. Oh. Gosh. No minimal. The Metal Gear Solid 3 climbing theme? <laughs> hmm. What are some alternate playstyles off the top of your head that you were 
enjoy. Uh, that's like like play styles that are like separate from the main like part part of the games or whatever. Like I enjoy the animal riding levels and crash games, but I guess you could call those just you could you, you mean, you know, those as like extensions of the main platforming, anyways. Yeah, I can kind of see that, but mm. I I I I did half count that, I guess, but you know. Did enjoy the jet ski levels of Crash Tree. Yeah. Those are pretty fun. Not the bait, not the greatest in insane though, <laughs> but whatever. Oh man. Screw it, I can't even bother, just do it. Press L2. Yeah, there we go. Oh gosh! Oh crap. Yeah, well, oh well. If we can break the boxes, it's fine. Please don't kill me. That should be everything. <laughs> hmm. Okay, that was a weird jump. Can you think of any place, uh, like place I was like not not just to, not just crash, but like, like any anything in general, like something that like a place style that uh, you didn't like so much for whatever reason. Um, random rhythm games and non-rhythm games. And the rhythm sections and non-rhythm games. Yeah, especially um, my I have issues with that when it's a bad rhythm game mini game. Uh, I.e., uh, basically all the rhythm mini games in Kingdom Hearts. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, there's be, being this uh, like a low like a Sonic fan. I'm basically obligate obligated to say big. <laughs> He's at least just four levels, and they're really peaceful. Yeah. I think they should have been optional or something, though, because you literally have to do it to beat- to get to the uh, final story. This is the most random power-up box ever. Yeah. This reminds me of the uh, sewer levels in Crash 2 a little bit. Oh, this is nonsense. Okay, there we go. <laughs> nice. That wasn't so bad. Nah, that was fine. Decent, decent level. Yeah. It's really those, the, the two levels we just did earlier that bog this walkthrough down. Because, uh, the other levels aren't too bad. Not great, but they're alright. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are at basically what can people consider to be the best boss battle in this game. Yep. Time to earn your wings, kid. Yeah, it's basically engine from Crash 3 again, but not as exciting. But it's still pretty it's it's still pretty fun. I it's either this or uh, or the fifth boss, the final boss. That's my favorite because these last two are 
pretty fun bosses. So you basically just wait for him to attack and then attack attack his body on where the area he's attacking or where the mask is flowing at basically. And uh, hey, I learned wind spirits are solid. Yeah. <laughs> How do I do a flip? There we go. Yeah, the, it, it basically nothing really changes. It doesn't really get any any more, much more difficult, if at all. Uh, um, and uh, there's no like second phase or anything like that, like engines fight. But you know, it's still one of the better bosses in the game. Not much else to say about it, really. Honestly, it might be a little bit too easy for this point in the game, but whatever. How's the music? Because I can't hear anything. Uh, kind of generic to be honest. It doesn't really. Eh, nothing really to write home about. It's not bad, it's just. kind of there. Do you have anything to add, say about the boss? Like, does a wind spirit have a, have a skeleton? Oh, it's gonna get really messed up in a minute. <laughs> oh, okay. That was a thing. <laughs> Yeah, Engine also had like some attacks later on, or even in the first phase of the the uh, the mini guns, uh, where they they it just like cheeses for your health bar. The, uh, crunch doesn't it's really not as much of a cluster frenzy by comparison. I am actually kind of okay with that. <laughs> I guess in some sense that's, that's understandable. Uh, yeah, what the heck? We killed Thanks, him. Tied children. This game, this game's for kids. <laughs> we killed Crunch! Again! How is he alive? I swear, like, that- what? <laughs> yeah, but like... Hmm. I'm gonna cut cutscenes later, just so I can hear what Corner and Crunch are arguing about now. Alright. Are we not doing a thing? Oh, I guess we're just going right into the next warframe. Save. I guess it's, yeah, probably should. Thankfully, this uh, last warframe is mainly filled with platforming stuff, so it's actually one of the better parts of the game. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's see, let's just go through here. Platforming, yep. Oh, that, that's, a that's a monkey ball stage. Okay, that, that's the good mech level. And that's the uh, platform level. So this is actually a really good set of levels. Let me win for once! Don't worry, Dr. Corte. Now that my elemental powers have reached maximum capacity, this little geek is gonna wish he was never created. Yeah. I think I was going to say something else about the boss, but I forgot. Oh, no, no, I was going to say, like, uh, the, the, the how the engine fight had some, like, attacks that drained your health bar, like, crazy. 
Uh, that version of Crunch just doesn't really have that. It's pretty standard stuff. So, you know, it's a, it, I will say it's a little bit too easy for the for a fourth boss. But, hey, I'll let it slide. Because we've already been through so much crap as it is in this game that I just don't care. Because this... The difficulty in this game is just really schizophrenic. It's just... It's harder when it wants to be. Also, monkeys. Monkey! Schizophrenic? Yeah, in a sense that, um... It's like... So there's like it can be like a level that's like. Oh, we also, have, we also have a bazooka now, which is basically a slightly. Actually, this controls much better than the Mac. What the hell? Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the um, the um, so there are some levels uh, that are just randomly really hard, uh, like early on, and then like it, it and then late and then. You'll just randomly get like easy levels and a hard level, and then it just kind of goes crazy. It's not really consistent at all. So, so what you're telling me is that this is the Mario Three of 3D platformers. I I, I guess. <laughs> I I yeah, guess I'm... I guess that's not wrong actually. Yeah. So if you're telling me this is the greatest game of all time, then sure. <laughs> Silence is, is everything. <laughs> uh, it's depressing because I, I like this game on like a general fundamental level. Like when when I'm just doing these, the the regular levels, like I'm having fun with it. Like it's mm, it's just bogged down so much. Hey, wahoo, wahoo. Ah. Oh, of course. No, oh, dang it. Why did you just sneak? Because, because the, uh, because of the last box. I need one crate and one bump of fruit. <laughs> there we go. Oh, this is what's, uh, this is what the beta, <laughs> that beta I was mentioning, like, yeah, can became. Yeah, this this was um one of the first levels that was uh made, and it transformed into this le uh level. Like, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, these bird enemies are weird. I don't understand how they work. Just assume robot, unless otherwise. <laughs> Robotic. Kamikaze parrots. Yeah. We still don't have the super belly flop, by the way. Yeah, there is a death root here, by the way. Just, just so you know. We're coming up to it soon. Who's in that cage? It's <laughs> a good question. That's a good question. All right. There we go. I don't remember this one. Okay, I didn't even see that guy. As you couldn't tell, I prefer not to use the bazooka. Wait, can, can I even... Can I duck, maybe? <laughs> yeah! Alright. Um... Hello? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, what do you expect from me? I don't know where I'm going! Okay.
Aj. I'm starting to run out of commentary, to be honest. <laughs> hey, you got anything? Uh. Oh. Hello? Hi. Oh, okay. I, I, I was disconnected for a minute. Uh, how, how long was I gone? Uh, about two minutes. Oh, okay. Anyways, uh... Um... Do you, do you have anything to talk about? Because I'm pretty much just running out of commentary. <laughs> Do you, wait, did you go through the death route already? Yeah, we've already gone through the death route. There we go. Level's over, so... Yep, level's <laughs> over. That was after that who never goes to the portal in either Crash 3 or Wrath of Cortex. <laughs> he doesn't crash too, though. Does, uh, I'm pretty I just feel bad leaving him behind. <laughs> I guess... Hmm, I wonder why, actually. Oh no, he can, he's, he comes with you in this game. And now we're gonna get the yellow gem. Uh, fuck. Okay, I think this should be the last level we, we do, because it's, it's getting late now. But this, uh, this, is, uh, this has one of my favorite tracks in the game. It's a Wild West theme, and... Uh, um, Motif we... Didn't get warped. Yeah, it's really cool, uh, actually. And also, enemies come returning from Crash Two. Ah, <laughs> nightmares. There's also a death route here too, so. This is also a really, a pretty long level as well, so. Yeah. There's like those donkey's teeth. Oops. Yeah, it's pretty massive. Just make sure I didn't miss a box. Yeah, the lo this level's not amazing per se, but the music makes, it uh, just makes it worth it. <laughs> Can you shoot the cacti with your bazooka? I believe so, yeah. I wish you could hear it. <laughs> Oh, bonus room going left. That's different. <laughs> Oops. It's fine. Bonus rooms don't count. I just do it this way. Uh. No! I assume this is land. Alright. Yum, yum, yum. Hey, we're 
missing. There was there was a nitro box, right? I don't know. Maybe. Okay, yeah. Uh, oh, let's just destroy it just to be safe. I forgot we had the bazooka. Yeah. You know, I just mentioned it like two minutes ago. <laughs> I don't use- I don't- I tend not to use the bazooka in Crash. Oh, I did- okay, I'll take that. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, because we have a death row. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Because we have- oh, good, because we have a death route to go through. Yeah, and it's not for a little bit too. I'm not gonna chance that. You hit it. <laughs> oh, there, there's a minecart thing here too. I don't want to mess that up because otherwise we're going to miss a box. Also, notice how the scorpion's much slower than it was in Crash 3 too. Wait, what the heck? Come on. No, no, no. Okay. Death tornado. Yeah, boy. Like, this is a level theme I can... I can see fitting right into Crash 3. Okay, so I think... Is it triangle that makes you do a flip? No! Dang it. I forgot what the button was. No. Ugh, well. Hopefully the death route soon, because... I'm going to have to miss some checkpoints. It should have been triangle. Can you like not? <laughs> yeah. You're gonna have to ignore that. Oh God, gosh, Dynamite's jackasses are back here too. I don't understand how to do with these. I think the death route's like over here somewhere. I'm not gonna chance gosh. any of that. <laughs> I I don't feel confident. I mean, you should destroy that crate before it like you know times out. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're gonna have to kill ourselves to get the boxes back in the mine uh, cart section, so. Or the. wherever the thing is. Yeah, the dynamite things are just weird. I don't really get how the hitboxes work. Ugh. Crap. Gosh. <laughs> Is it me or have the death routes been getting easier? Because, uh, I swear the ones that earlier in the game, like, gave us more trouble than these. Am I just seeing things? Gotten used to the rhythm of this game. Just physics. I guess. Okay, so it's, remember a square. Don't miss it this time. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, good. Oh. 
Can I kill this guy? No, apparently not. As far as I can tell. Oh. Sure, Zuka. Hmm. I probably should have. I know. I I don't really think to do that when it comes to those kinds of boxes. We should be near the end. Uh. You can spin them too? Yeah, but only when they're like just like harmless like that. When they're spiked up, don't you don't. <laughs> Does Lil feel a bit more open than the others? Yeah. It's also just one of the longer levels in the game because we've been here for quite a bit. No, nah, not not worth it. Here's a jump ahead, jump up. Yeah, we're almost there. Okay. That's my bad. Felt like the platform was uh, uh closer than it actually was. Percept depth perception, the old enemy of Crash Bandicoot. Oops. Pretty much, yeah. Oh, <sighs> almost there. Cause he, man, I think it's a, this would be a good place to stop too. Cause, dang it, I need to stop doing stuff like that. Yeah, because uh, we uh, we are really running thin on commentary right now. <laughs> Like, I basically said all I needed to about the game, and a lot of my issues with it, and positives as well, I guess. Like, it so if it sounds like I I'm coming off like I hate this game, it, like, I don't. <laughs> I just have a lot of issues with it. hate this game, but this game definitely hates you. <laughs> how would you rank this game overall? Like, from what you played, anyway. Like, how would you... How how does the bad compare, like, and the good compare, um, like, overall as... How, how do I... Do you, do you get what I'm trying to ask? Like, uh... Is the does the the good overall make it toler make it tolerable enough to uh, be worth playing? I guess. Uh, I never got this far. Hmm. Levels. It's some of the worst. <laughs> warp room freeze. Warp rooms three and four are probably the worst parts of the game. I don't have water crunch. <laughs> Yeah, as soon as you start, as soon as you fight Water Crunch, like, that's basically where the game, like, dips significantly in quality. But, you know. Oh, of course, just put a ra that, that is, oh, wow. Yeah, just put a random Nitro box there. Okay, we've got all of them. But how much did you enjoy the level, the, the parts, the parts you did play? I was young and petty. Oh, so. <laughs> uh, okay. I, it was, I just compared everything to warp too much, even when it wasn't warranted, and... Mm. I mean, yeah, I'm not sure if it was nostalgia, like, yeah, nostalgia when I was six years old, but... <laughs> preference for warp or just legitimate issues with this game but i don't think i like i play i don't know 
but I was definitely kind of feeling eh about it a lot of time. Mm. I can I can understand that, yeah. I I, I just came at. Uh, no, I was just gonna. I was just gonna say, like, it, this game is, I think, just about average in general quality. I'd rather play Crash of Titans because it doesn't make me want to break my controller. I can understand that. Yeah. Uh, my, mm, I, I, um, I shouldn't say recently, but uh, I've record. How does it activate all the way from over here? <laughs> um, I, I've been recording Crash of the Titans for Seas Brain, and uh, I'm having much more fun on my second run. Um, still having issues with like difficulty and stuff, but I don't know. I need to finish the game to actually get a better opinion. Is Crash but, like doing an air guitar whenever he like does a crouch jump? Yeah, sometimes he does that. It's pretty cool. Alright, that's actually neat. Like. I'll give it, yeah, credit where it's due, I guess. Uh, but we're gonna stop they tr here. They tr Traveler's Tales tried. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyways, though, well, that's gonna be it for now, because it's, uh, it's getting late on my side, and we're also just drained out of commentary, and I don't want to force this out any longer. So next time, we're gonna continue Warp, Warp Room 5 and start the uh, post-content, I suppose, so... Yeah, see you guys then.